Off screen, Phoebe Robinson is a 30-something Brooklyn-based comedian and podcast host. On screen, Phoebe is playing a fictional 30-something <laughs> Brooklyn-based comedian and podcast host. Yeah, okay, that sounds familiar. Okay. She turned her real-life experiences into a new comedy called Everything's Trash. In it, her brother, who just announced he's running for public office as a guest on her show. Take a look. Now, I'll talk about this and more at my kickoff party this coming Saturday. Yes, I'm going to be there. The Obamas are going to be there. No. Sasha and Malia are actually catering. No, so. Obama's yeah. like, I, I can't make it, uh, but I love you, and uh, we're all pulling for you. <laughs> but, <laughs> that was but, good. Thank you. Thank you very much. <gasps> he's he's, he's Jordan, Jordan too. Yes, Jordan Carlos is a dream. I love him being my TV brother. Yeah. I yeah. love that. I love that. Okay, first of all, this title of that was Hilarious. your memoir and then turned into this comedy, which is so funny. Everything's trash. Yeah. Is everything trash? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Is everybody, <laughs> is everybody trash? We're all trash. Listen, we're trying to make it work. You know, I'm just trying to keep my, you know, my roles contained right now. Like, listen, I'm trying to get through it. But, like, that's part of it. It's just sort of embracing those flaws and realizing that even though things are a little bit messy, you're trying and hopefully making the world a better place. I love your journey because because you were always kind of different and yeah. comedy was seen through a certain lens. So your kind of funny didn't translate for certain people, yeah. but you stuck to it. I loved, I was listening to something you said on PBS. You were like, no, no, no. I'm not funny like you. I'm funny like me. <laughs> yeah, because it's so hard when you have, like, all these people telling you what you should do, what you should look like, what you should joke about. And I just was kind of like, I think this is funny. I want to trust my gut a little bit. And I, it's gotten me here. I have my own TV show now. Look so clearly you. I was right. Yes. You, know? you were <laughs> right. And did you, I mean, so your brother is a real-life politician. Yeah. And yeah, then obviously yeah. the brother in the show plays a politician. Yeah. Um, is he into it? Is he into the idea of being on screen? He loves it. He's like, okay, I need a cut of royalties. And I'm like, <laughs> when I get some residuals, I'll pass them your way. But he, uh, my brother Philip and Jaden, sorry, Jordan, who plays Jaden, they met at the premiere party on Monday, and it was so cute. They hit it off. And I was like, okay, let's separate. I don't want you to be too close, but <laughs> yeah. it's so great. It's so funny when you work on a project, and this, this has been a long time in the making. Mm -hmm. This is like you're birthing a baby right now. Yes. This is a big deal. Tell us about that journey. Yeah, it's been three years. I, I developed it with my my showrunner, Jonathan Groff, who also was a showrunner for Blackish and, you know, all these other incredible shows, Happy Endings. And it was a long journey, but I learned so much. And we got to shoot it in Brooklyn and do all the fun things that we wanted to do. And I'm, I'm really proud of the show. And it's fun and it's sexy and it's silly and it's smart and it has a lot of heart. We have a lot in common. I mean, I've kind of stalked you on the internet. Um, but one of the things is we both think we're best friends with Bono. Yeah, I know. Are, are, are we really? No. Well, I mean, wait, I, look, look, look at, oh, wait a I'm minute. Oh, hold on. told us you went to 19 concerts. Wait, what? Wait, what is that hub in those glasses? I mean, so that was when um, I went to Mumbai to see the last show for um, mm -hmm. the Joshua Tree tour. And we hung out the after party. And we were just like, all oh, hanging out. How do you out know and, him? Let's give it, break it down. <laughs> well, I'm obsessed with you two so much and I met him at Bonnaroo when Two Dope Queens podcast was also out there yeah. and that was 2017 and we just like stayed in touch and he'll you know send me flowers for my birthday we'll like email Ooh. occasionally Isn't he the most he's so Jenna said that she's besties with mom. yeah I think you, know, you are had a well he, he did surprise me for my yeah. 40th yeah, birthday yeah I saw that he has not done that for me <laughs> Wait, look I like that we teed it I up I mean come just on just you, oh, you just you. had the clip ready well we have for that marching band yes, for you. Did he, he, he do that uh -uh. for you? Yeah. No, yeah. I'm like, Bono, make me a frittata. I mean, <laughs> hook me up with some of your rich friends. What you doing, B? Now, like, what, well, come on. Now, what about, now, Tom Hanks is another pal? Okay, yeah, so I interviewed him for this podcast I had on WNYC called So Many White Guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, tell us about the title. So, it's just, like, so many podcasts feature white dudes, so we would have, like, uh, all the guests would be, like, women, people of color, people from the queer community, and have a token white guy to end the season. <laughs> Season. And Tom did it, and he was so delightful. And there's like a really funny theory on Twitter that he sort of, um, like, when he tans, he can like kind of pass for, like a light skinned black dude. <laughs> so I was like, you could play my dad in a movie. Um, and I was like, would you want to just record the outgoing voicemail on my phone? And he did it. He did two takes. So is it still there? It's still, still there. there. So if you call me, you will hear so him. So Bono calls you, yes. he speaks to Tom Hanks. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. Now, in yeah. addition to all this stuff, you and Jenna have something else in common. You're book lovers. And yes. you have an imprint. And, and the book you just published is gorgeous. Yeah, See, thank you us. so much. So I have an imprint called Tiny Preparations Books. And our least, our most recent publication, Portrait of a Thief, became a New York Times bestseller yes, book. Yes, it did. Which is very awesome. exciting. Um, the author is Grace D. Lee. She's brilliant. Um, she wrote it while she was in medical school. And I was like, honey, you are a writer. You need to drop out of school. And I never tell people to drop out of school. But, but I'm like, told I told her to drop out of school. <laughs> but I'm really excited. We have our, our next book is coming out August 1st. Um, called Parish by Latoya Watkins, and I'm really, really excited. And I, we have poetry, oh. you know, fiction, creative nonfiction. It's, I'm really excited. It's amazing. Wow. It feels yeah. like everything, you're just everything's happening. Living, yeah. everything's you're right happening. In the right moment. But I'm not a, a crazy rich yet, so I got to figure that out. <laughs> okay. What do I need to do? That's coming next. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> We're so happy. Everything's trash is on Freeform and on Hulu. It's Check it very, out. Very, very funny.